folks i wanted to show you something a little different on there i've seen eight ball in chat a couple different ways um, most of the time it's always text in chat and i wanted to see something that was both visual audio and dynamic so if you type in something like this in the chat or if anybody does you can actually get a fun little graphic animation augment mock cask again later and that's the video let me show you how to get it set up Hi folks, welcome to the YouTube. Here is where we look at anything we can do to help you out on stream. Now that's going to include visual, audio, or brand. I'm your man, the Arg Mingmok. If you haven't done so already, help me out on the YouTube side with a subscription, a thumbs up. And if you see me live on Twitch, you know I obviously stream quite often. You're always welcome to drop in, say hi, or even ask questions or game with us. It's always a great time there. Now I do want to address a couple of basic things. The pink beard is gone. Maybe we'll grow this one back and we'll tie it again a different color if we hit some other channel goals. Always a fun thing to see. I don't know. Maybe we'll make it a thing. That said though, I do want to show you how to get this guy set up so you can have a funner way to do 8-ball and chat using Twitch Guru. So I'll show you how. We over on the uh, stream PC side of things. Now, a couple things that I wanted to kind of just throw out there disclaimer wise. Um, this is using twitchguru.com. I've used, already kind of used a couple of these tools before. Here's Dude Beard's really cool um, channel as well, or uh, YouTube there about how to explain to do channel points. I'm gonna link some of these other awesome videos on there. Now, today we're gonna show you how to set up the browser source, which is the eight ball itself. Um, I'm gonna also show you um, some fun way to integrate it with the Lord board, kind of a workaround. So if you don't like that basic animation, you can kind of make it dynamic and moving around a little bit different. I like to be different. And so we're going to use move source plugin. We're also going to use Leorn board. And I have those videos also um, made and I'll link those down below in the description. So check out those videos if you want to see some different ways to animate. And we'll uh, we'll set those up today for it. So anyways, Twitch to, uh, twitch.guru, I'll link this website down below. Quite a few awesome tools. We have the 8-Ball itself tool over here. This is where you can set up all of the fancy stuff. You really just kind of follow along with his installation and it sets itself up pretty easy. First thing you need to do is enter your channel name, hit next. Um, there's a series of questions. If you want to add some more responses, rather you can. Um, just by hitting add. Eventually, we're going to copy this this URL here. But I wanted to show you a couple of the other things that you can do with it. Um, you can change the appearance of the eight ball. So if you wanted to change like the hue or the colors um, of the eye or the ball itself, you can do so. Um, you know, maybe we'll make it a little more of a cyan. Um, and then you know, the ball color you can change as well. Um, I kind of like it how it is. He's got different um, setups for it, which is kind of cool on it now what you saw the very first screen that was the animate ball zoom um and if you do this you need to make the browser source a little bit bigger to encompass the actual um eight ball itself i'm not going to do that right now um because i wanted to show you how to do it on the orange board with your own style of animation and he also has a fade in fade out that's where it's going to fade fade kind of cool um and then some other settings uh, i'd like to have the shake on there and on the read out answer on there. So you can actually have it um, talking on your chat kind of as well. So that's kind of the settings I want. Play around with whatever settings you, you like on there. We're gonna go ahead and hit copy on this URL source. We're gonna pop it back into OBS. I already have one here. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it because we're gonna make a new one. And then uh, you hit a new source. It's a new browser source. Uh, call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it A8 ball. A8B because I have a couple of other ones I already made for testing purposes, but A8B is what I'm calling it. Name it whatever you want to call it. We're pasting that URL right here into this source over here. Um, if you do want to use that zoom animation that was on the other screen, you might have to up this width and height to like with the 1000, 1100 or so. Um, I like to control my audio via OBS so I can kind of route the audio wherever I like. And that's really all the settings you, you really need. Hit OK. And then underneath advanced audios, just because I need to make sure I, you all can hear it as well, I'm going to hit that AAB and I'm going to have monitor and output. And then you can see that it's already showing up on screen for us. Um, I think for me, I'm going to actually incorporate this on my channel, um, but I like to make it nice and big and readable. So I'm going to really just kind of get crazy with it and make it large. Um, 
for us. It won't always be like that, but what I'm my plan is to do here is we're going to use the Yorn board to actually do the animation for us. So it's going to be really nice and big when it reads its answer, and then it's going to go off screen and like shrink so it's out of the way when it's you know not needed. That's kind of my thought for it. So right now, what we're going to do is get into the move sources itself. Again, check out my other videos if you don't know what I'm talking about. But we're going to go underneath scenes. I'm going to hit right click. We're going to do a, um, a filter. And what we're going to do is a new move source. Now, these are my other ones that I've made before. I'm just going to delete them because, again, I was just testing and playing around with some stuff. But we're going to do a new move source. I'm going to call it 8... B L eight ball large, I guess, whatever makes sense for you. The source is going to be the eight, eight B that browser source that we made. Um, this is my large move source. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm moving this to the size so you can see. So I have a new move source. I called it eight, eight B. The source is the browser source. We're going to get the current transform. That's the large big transform. I'm going to change the visibility to show because when it goes small, I'm actually going to hide it. And then the duration, I like to have the animation nice and long. I'm going to say like maybe two and a half seconds worth of animation time. Um, and it, it, easing function kind of depends on what you want to do. I'm going to go circular for this one. You can change the curve, um, play around with whatever animations you want. The start trigger is going to be when uh, enable the eye icon is in front is enabled. All right. So now we need to make another one for when it's small. Uh, so I guess what I'll do real fast is I'll go ahead and make this nice and small. And then I'm going to kind of move it to the edge and then off the actual canvas. And then I'm going to go back into scenes. I'm going to hit filters. We're going to make another filter. It's going to be a move source filter. And I'll say 8B S. 8 ball small, I guess. Um, the source again is going to be the 8, 8B. Uh, we're going to get the current transform. It's currently off screen and nice and small. And then the duration, again, two and a half seconds, I think this works good for us. I'll make it circular again for that. And then the start trigger again will be enabled when the source eye, uh, when the eye icon is in front of it. So the idea now is when this eye icon gets triggered, it will get big. And then when this one gets triggered, it'll get small. So let's go ahead and play with that. All right, nice and big, and then nice and small. Cool. All right, so now we can use the Yorn board to kind of manipulate this for us. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go ahead and get into my Leorn board receiver. I'm going to bring this over. We're going to go ahead and go into channel point. This is just the, the name of my stream deck. We're going to open up my stream deck to manipulate it. I already made one down here, so I guess I'll just show you what I did and make sure that commands is what it's supposed to be. So I'll hit edit commands. Um, now, before I, I made the filter name as 8BL and 8BS, so basically we need a filter change visibility. What we're doing is we're going to make it large and we're going to toggle the small off. And then after about six seconds, we're going to make it small and we're going to reverse toggle. So just kind of copy these if you need to. Uh, we're going to uh, do record mode, whatever your C name is here. Should be eight B, yeah, AP small, large. That's the filter name. Small. Okay, I just want to make sure the names are the same. They are. So what we're doing is we're making it large. We're toggling the small off. We're going to make it, um, and then we're going to cancel that and flip it after six seconds. Okay. So we're going to hit done. I just want to test that, make sure it works before we go forward. Go ahead and bring over my stream deck itself. And I have the ball button right there. We'll go ahead and test that. And then after six seconds, it will go away. All right, look like that worked okay. Now here's like a little bit of a hiccup is Leorn board will only re um, actually use for text purposes, verbatim of a command. So I'm gonna piggyback the command off of another chat bot or another bot that doesn't kind of a it's 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 my own little workaround, I suppose, for how to make this work. What I what I mean by this is with Learn Board, if you type in exclamation mark eight ball with nothing, it's going to work just fine. However, people are going to be typing in exclamation mark eight ball and then some sort of text like, "Hey, will I get promoted today?" or whatever, and 
it, the Orin board won't recognize that as a command. So we're going to have to use a, a different type of Twitch trigger. So, or a different trigger. So underneath my uh, my deck, I'm going to go underneath the eight ball. I'm going to edit my Twitch triggers. And what I did was I made a response for a Twitch trigger. If somebody types in S space mark asks question mark, and you can do whatever you really want here. Um, that will trigger the animation of the ball moving in or over. I'm going to hit done, done again. And then I, what I did was I used another bot to piggy pack this over. Uh, and what I did was I made, um, if someone types in estimates mark eight ball, and it can be a response here because Nightbot doesn't care if there's text afterwards. As soon as it sees that, it's going to respond in chat with estimates mark asks. And then we're using this as the trigger for Leorn board to animate. If that makes sense. So I'm using another bot here to kind of like just trigger the animation. A little bit of a workaround. I'm sure there's probably another way to do it, um, but that's just the way I set it up for it. So it, it does it flawlessly. So let's go ahead and test this with my own chat open to see if it works. All right, so I had a couple things I had to pause there for. I didn't realize that I had the actual Twitch Guru website open with the ball. And because of that, I was getting echoing and I couldn't figure out why. So close, close the website and you should be okay. So all that really means is testing it. And what we're going to do is ask the question whether or not, um, hey, 8-Ball, a Swiss mark 8-Ball, will my channel blow up? You can see that I've tested it a couple of times. Nightbot should reflect with exclamation mark asks. That's the trigger that makes the thing animate. And you should see a visual slash audio response for this. So I'm going to hit this in chat and then move this aside so we can see. All right, and there it goes. And so um, works out pretty well on it. I think it's kind of cool. I'm probably going to actually make this a part of my normal channel, and I'll see you glitches on the next time. Be safe. What could you do? I don't know. Adaptive circuits engaged. Roadhog. I'm going whole hog. The cool part about that is um, the ultimate like gives you a new character with ammo in the clip. So as soon as I'm out of ammo, I'm like, hmm, it's a good time for it. 